Emma here and today I'm going to be doing a um, homecoming makeup tutorial or makeup routine. Um, quick things before I start. I'm chewing gum in this video. Um, that's just because um, that is a trigger for some people and I've never filmed a gum chewing video before. As you may notice, I have a crooked mouth, um, and the gum chewing will accentuate that. So I apologize if that annoys you. If you want to watch a homecoming video without gum chewing, I uploaded one last year. I'll link that in the description. There's rain in the background. Um, I'm not sure how that will translate on the camera audio-wise. Hope for the best. And links to Twitter, my vlog channel, and Instagram are in the description. So let's get started. Um, my face is already moisturized um, and cleaned. <laughs> so the first step for me personally is to take my bangs back and usually I had to do this with a headband but right now what I have on hand is a ponytail and that works just as well um, if I'm looking away from the camera it's because I'm looking in the mirror down below um, I was incredibly annoyed before filming this because um, sometimes when I'm running late I do my makeup on the bus or when I get to school so I bring a makeup bag with me and in that I have my eyebrow brush, mascara and concealer and two lip products and I left that school. So we're gonna have to make do. Um, and homecoming is tomorrow and today is Friday night so that means that we'll also have to make do for homecoming. But it won't be too bad. I have a lot of makeup. It's just the eyeshadow brushes I'm worried about because there was two eyeshadow brushes in there. And now what I'm left with is concealer brushes. But anyway, First things first, um, I'm going to apply some eyelid primer, and primer is just really important to make sure that your eye makeup stays on longer and smoother. I do my eye makeup first because I'm very prone to making mistakes, and by doing it first, avoid having to like wash it off and washing off all my face makeup with it. In fact, I already filmed this part of the video and I did my eyeliner really badly so I had to go back and do it again. So, what I'm going to do first is my eyeliner because I tend to mess it up a lot because I'm relatively new to the eyeliner thing and I haven't quite the hang of it yet, but I do know how to do it. Um, this is from NYX, which to my knowledge is a cruelty free brand. I am in the process of going cruelty free with my makeup products. I'm not going to be throwing away any products that I previously owned, but from this point forward I will not be buying any products which are not cruelty free. Some of my favorite cruelty free brands are NYX, ELF, Pixie, Milani, and Tarte. Um, if you are not already cruelty free, I would suggest going cruelty free. Because there are plenty of wonderful products out there that you can use that do not involve animal testing. But anyway, on the video, this is just some black liquid liner. And 
I'm looking down, sorry about that. The mirror is down here, and for this part, I need my elbow to be supported so I do not mess up. So, what I'm going to do is take this um, brush and from the inner corner, pull it out as thinly as I can in the direction like angled towards the end of my brow and stopping where my eyelid creases. So next thing I'm going to do is go about a quarter of the way in on my lid and pull it out towards the end of the line in a triangle shape. Just go from there when it comes to smoothing it out. A thin line on my lash line, going about three quarters of the way in, and then pulling it out to where the triangle had started. And now I'm going to make this part of my eyeliner thicker so that when my eyes are closed, the wing looks better. But there is that eye. I'm going to do the other eye and come back. Okay, so next step. Um, now that I have the eyeliner done, I'm going to go to my face makeup. Um, my face is already moisturized, so what I'm going to start with is some color correcting concealer. So what I'm going to use is, once again, from my the box set that I used my eye primer from, I'm going to mix together some yellow and peach tone concealers and that under my eyes over my blue purple circles in an attempt to cancel them out. And then to blend that in, I'm going to take my blending sponge from Eco Tools. This is True Match from L'Oreal and it is in the shade Fair Light. I'm going to take this and put it in triangles under my eyes. I'm just on a spot between my brows and the lines on my chin. To blend that out, I'm using my Tarte trial size, just like a powder brush. I'm just Blending that with circular motions. Now, the next step is foundation. I use L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade. You know, I don't think the shade is warm. And I just use one squirt of that. I don't like to overdo it. and then always bringing it down to the neck to blend that out. I'm going to be using the same blush, I mean the brush that I used for concealer. Big, big um, fluffy brush. I'm going to take my, my True Match Warm powder and just taking that same big fluffy brush and dusting that all over my face to oh, oh dear gosh 
Um, to set my makeup. If you guys want to see like pictures of my dress, um, I'll post that on Twitter. So just in case any of you were curious, it's really cute. It's black. Okay. Now that the pressed powder is all applied and I'm looking blended. I'm going to move on to the Pose Blush and Bronzer. Um, these are, once again, from the... I'll take it off so you guys can see it. The True Match box set. I mean, not True Match. I'm just I'm a mess. It's midnight. The Ulta box set. This is the bronzer I'm going to be using. And this is the blush. And I'm taking this Ulta brush. I know it's not the proper shape. I do this with my fingers to make it the proper fan shape I need. And just very light-handedly, I'm going to get some product on the blush on the brush and rub it off a bit first. And then do the traditional bronzing where I focus Look at that. <laughs> on the very like areas close to my ears. Now that there's like not anything on the brush, I'm going to blend it. And just pulling that up to my temples. Okay. Now that the bronzer is for the most part blended out, if it doesn't look perfect, that's fine. It um, you'll be in a dark room. Now that it is for the most part blended out, I'm going to take this usually the um, blush brush from Eco Tools, and I'm going to use the blush I showed you earlier, which is just a very like translucent dewy pink, and pull that from the apples of my cheek a little bit higher so it may work as a highlighter as well, and pull it up to my temple, and then on the other side, and I'll go back and blend it. I'm going to go back with that fluffy brush I used before for my press powder and just blend it all together. Okay. So, um, next I'm going to take um, this like cheap has like dollar store highlighter, it's from Wet n Wild, it's called Fergie, and I'm going to put that up the bridge of my nose, just a little bit, just to give me a little bit of glitter, because I'm going to use my finger for that. I don't contour my nose, I quite like my nose, and the shape of it, so I'm just doing this to add a little bit of dewy glitter. Okay, for my eye makeup, I'm going to be using this Tartlet Amazonian Clay Palette. I'm going to start with the... <laughs> I'm struggling so much. I don't want to like blind you. By showing the mirror, I'm going to start with this shade and it is called Free Spirit. But I'm also going to take a little bit of Super Mom first and work that. That's just a really light green color onto the base and then I will take the free spirit and work it up into the crease. And for this look, I'm just doing a really simple like crease. I'm not doing like a cut crease or anything like that. So now I'm working um, with free spirit and weird. bringing it up to my crease. This is just a base color. I have quite purple eyelids. So, next we're going to need a 
transition color in the crease and for that I'm going to use this shade Wanderer. Um, so I'm going to use that Wanderer shade and I'm going to bring that up to my brow bone and then slightly into my lid just as a transition color for when I bring my crease color in. And sorry, I haven't blended it yet. I'm going to use this to blend out the color so that it's not as harsh. If you're wondering why I keep looking over, it's because I can see the reflection of my camera and then I can check to see if it's still recording. <laughs> We have the transition color. We're going to move on to the darker colors. For the crease, I'm going to use this color called Dreamer. And then for the inner, I mean outer C, I'm going to use this color called Best Friend. And if you don't know, if you don't know what outer C means, you will see what I mean by that in a moment. I'm going to put this brush down and use that when I use the Best Friend color, which is a more mauve purple shade. Right now I'm going to switch to this um, elf brush. I'm going to take that dreamer color and I'm going to put that in the crease. Oh god, look at that color. Whew. I'm going to put it in the crease on both sides. And I'm going to blend that out so that it's not so harsh and instead rather than focusing on bringing it down to my lid, I'm going to focus on bringing it up to my brow bone. It doesn't look bad though. Definitely not what it's gonna look like tomorrow when I actually go to homecoming. Okay, I'm so excited for homecoming. I mean, they had to cancel the homecoming soccer game. Yeah, we don't have football in my school because my sports director is British and he doesn't like football because he's British. So we just play soccer. Um, and he thinks it's like too competitive. So like, I don't know, it's a bunch of hippie liberals, so... Okay, now that the crease color is blended, time for the inner C. And if you don't know what the inner C is, it is this area right here, basically the outer corner, the brow bone, and the lid. I'm using the purpley color I showed earlier, and I'm going to be there very light with that, and put it on the crease, and then outline my wing with it and pull it down into the lid. And I'm just going to blend that out and pull it up into the brow bone on the outer corner. Not going past the wing on this side. And then into midway. My camera is really being a trooper here. <sighs> it's not dying on me or anything. Okay, and that's it for eyeshadow. Next is brows. I have the same brush I used before, and I'm using this dark brown shade, Multitasker. And I don't like to go too heavy with this because I feel like I look ridiculous. I'm just going to follow the natural outline of my brows because I quite like my brows. And then just pull it out and making sure to thicken the ends a little bit because I have naturally very thin brows. <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m. Um, would you look at that? It's, it's so late. And I pay much more attention to this brow because this brow is kind of a little jerk and has like it like it's shaped weirdly. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> 
My dog's crying for some reason. Like he's dreaming. He dreams a lot. If you hear him, it's just because he's having a nightmare. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now that I've filled in my brows and they're much too dark, I'm going to take this Eco Tools. If you haven't noticed, I use a lot of Eco Tools. I really hope they're cruelty free because they're my favorite brush brand. Just this eyebrow brush and I'm going to brush it out. Oh my god, I need to go wake up my dog. He's having a nightmare. Um, I can hear him from across the house. Um, and I'm just brushing this up, and what this does basically is blend just for your eyebrows. It's a real magic little tool. And then on the other side, I don't know. Oh my god, I forgot about mascara. <laughs> like, I just wasn't gonna do it. Like, I was gonna move on to my lips, and I was gonna be done. So next is the NYX Badunk Dunk. Mascara, and this is just a real, like, thick, thick wand. I'm just gonna do a one coat of that on my top lashes. My dog is really distracting me. I'll be right back. I'm back. I let my dog come with me because he was sad. Okay, so... Spice, go away. Next step is to finish mascara. I just gotta do that on the other eye. This video is just slowly falling apart. I feel like that's all of my videos. Like, they start off okay, and then by the end, it's like, what? It's more. I don't know. Would you? Hey, sit. Shut up. Sit. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so just finish your mascara. It's so bad. Why do you subscribe to me? I know that your eye makeup's all the time. We can move on to the final step. And that is lipstick or lip gloss. I'm wearing this shade from Rimmel. Bordeaux lipstick from Rimmel. And I'm not using lip liner or anything. We're not fancy here. Just gonna slather that on there. Well, there you have it, a mediocre ASMR homecoming routine. Um, if you want to see my dress, or like how I look, which would probably be like 10 times better when I'm actually ready for homecoming, go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, also down below, and vlog channel. And I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.